Hi. So let us have a quick look at our first chapter sets. Now, what is a set? A set is a collection of objects. Now, objects can be numbers, the alphabets, different colors, or different things which are there in the surrounding. Okay. Look at the simple examples. These are two sets. The first set contains a set of numbers. The second set contains the colors in the rainbow. Okay. So sets are usually represented by the curly brackets and the elements which are present in the set are represented inside the curly brackets. Okay. Now let us look at few statements to understand how sets are formed. Now the first statement set of even natural numbers. Now what are natural numbers? You should know what are natural numbers. They are 1, 2, 3, starts from 1 and goes till infinity, right? These are called as natural numbers. Out of these natural numbers, which are the numbers which are even? The number 2, 4, 6, 8, all the numbers which are divisible by 2 are even numbers. So these are even natural numbers, that is 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. So the set is represented by keeping all these elements inside the curly bracket. Okay, now let us have a look at the second statement, a set of even prime numbers from 1 to 50. Now, again, you should know what are prime numbers. The prime numbers are those numbers which are only divisible by either 1 or itself. Okay, they are not divisible by any other number. So, the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. And out of all the prime numbers, there is just one prime number which is even, that is 2. Hence, our set will contain just one element, that is 2. Let's look at the third statement. The third statement states a set of negative integers. Now, again, what are integers? The integers are the numbers which are usually represented on the number line that are 1, 2, 3, 4, it contains 0 as well, it contains negative values as well, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So out of these, which are the negative integers? The terms on the left hand side, that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So all these numbers will come inside our set. Let's have a look at one more statement. 7 basic sounds of Sargam. Now, the 7 basic sounds of Sargam are Sa, Re, Gamma, Pa, Dha, Ni, Sa. Okay, so all these elements will come under this common set okay so a set can contain numbers it can contain words it can contain objects anything now let us see how you are supposed to write the answers for such type of questions Before moving further, we should understand different symbols which are used to represent sets. Okay. The first symbol is a vertical line that indicates such that. The second is an curved E which indicates belong to. Next is capital N which indicates natural numbers. Q indicates rational numbers. R indicates real numbers. And I indicates integers. Okay. Now. Let us use these symbols in our statements. The first statement, how will you read this statement? 4 by 3 belongs to rational numbers. Okay, look at another statement. Now we'll read this statement like this. Minus 2 does not belong to natural numbers. Let's look at one more statement. Now this states set P contains element small p and the vertical line indicates such that okay so such that p is an odd number so this is how you read out the statements with the symbols okay now 
Now there are two ways of representing a set. Okay. The first one is a roster form or the listing form. The second one is a set builder form. Now what is the listing form? In the listing form, we represent the elements which are present in the set. Just as in the case of the first example, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the elements which are there in the set. Well, in the second example, we have seen we don't express the elements. We express what is the rule for the elements. The rule for the elements is the colors in the rainbow. Right? So the colors are violet, indigo and so on. So this is called a set builder form where the first one is called as a roster form. Now, how to convert from roster form to set builder form? Uh, you can see these examples. The first example, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, these sets are represented in the roster form. How to represent them in the set builder form? From one, the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 can be represented in such a way. These are all the natural numbers which are less than 5. Okay. Whereas, these colors are the colors of the rainbow. So, the set can be represented as the colors of the rainbow. So, this way of representing is called as a roster form or the listing form. This way of representing is called as a set builder form. Now, once you understand how the sets are represented in both the forms, let us have a few questions. Now, the first question, a set of prime numbers from 1 to 20. We have to write a set in a listing form or a roster form. That means we have to list all the elements in the set. Okay, so let's list the prime numbers from 1 to 20. So set A, I'll name the set, I'll randomly name a set by a capital alphabet. So set A contains all the prime numbers starting from 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. Okay, so these are all the prime numbers from 1 to 20. Let's look at the second question. Letters of the word complement. Now, as a word complement and the alphabets which are used to form this word are to be represented in a set. Okay, so which are the different alphabets which are used? That is C, O, M, P, L, E. Now, M should not be repeated. We have already represented M in the set. So, M will not be repeated. Even E will not be repeated. The remaining two are N and T. Okay. So, a set will contain the elements, but none of the element in the set should be repeated. Okay. Let's look at the next statement. Name of the continents. So, which are the different continents? So, we have to list a set with all the different continents. So, this is how we represent a set in a roster form or a listing form. Now, let us see another form. Now, I will give you a set in the form of listing form and you have to convert it into a set builder form or rule method. Now, the first set, set A contains 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on till 100. Now, how will you represent this in the form of a set builder form? If you look carefully at these numbers, these numbers are actually squares of the natural numbers. Okay. So the square of 1 is 1, the square of 2 is 4, the square of 3 is 9, the square of 4 is 16 and so on till the square of 10 which is 100. So we'll represent the set in the rule method in this way. Set A contains X such that x is equal to n square and what is n? n is a natural number or n belongs to natural number which is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so we have written our set A which contains a variable x and then we have defined what is x. x is nothing but the square of a natural number till 10. Okay, so watch it very carefully. Now we'll move on to the next question. B is equal to 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on till 48. Now how will you represent this in the form of set builder form? Now if you look at the numbers 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on till 48. These are actually the numbers in the table of 6. 
right? Six ones are, six twos are, six threes, and so on. So we are representing all the multiples of six. So this can be represented in the following way. So set B contains x such that x is equal to six n, where n is a natural number till eight. Okay. So the value of n is one, two, three, four, and so on. And if you multiply it by six, I'll get the table of six. So this is how you represent it in a set builder form. Let's look at another question. X contains the letters a, e, and t. So that's a very easy way of representing it. X contains small letter x such that x is a letter of the word eat. Okay. The set X actually contains all these letters of the word eat. So representing the set in the listing form is quite easy, whereas representing it in the rule method will require some practice.